All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you guys have probably seen by the title, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a challenge and experiment tomorrow where we are going to see how many clean calories we can consume throughout the whole day. I haven't set myself a certain calorie goal, but I'm gonna to try to get higher than obviously what I usually have. And I just wanna see how much I eat, get myself pretty full with all, pretty much all whole clean foods. Honestly, just cause I'm so hungry all the time and I just wanted to see how much calories I would intake, keep me full for the whole day. So we've just gone and picked up all of our groceries, got a bunch of stuff here, but we've also got a bunch of stuff here at home that I already have ready for tomorrow. But I'm just gonna quickly go through a little grocery haul, show you guys exactly what we picked up. First up, what we've got in the bag is the vegan barbecue sauce. This is an all natural sauce. We've got three tins of tuna, tuna and spring water. If I wanted to go high calorie, I could have got the olive oil ones, but I just went with those ones. Don't know why, I actually didn't think of that in the moment, but oh well. We've got a packet of munch me. So what these are is just like stuck together little nuts. These pistachio and cranberry. These are delicious. The almond ones are really good also. We've got some black beans, some natural peanut butter, got two of the Mavis natural peanut butters, protein peanut butter, and then just a dark roasted crunchy one. Picked up a whole bag of rice, which I will cook up tomorrow. Got two bags of oats, cause you know we're gonna be smashing some oatmeal tomorrow. Like we always do anyways. Got some 0.5% fat Greek yogurt. Two bags of frozen mixed vegetables. We've also got some frozen mixed veg already in the... We've got a packet of unsalted mixed nuts. So what it's got in here is just like your cashews, almonds, pistachios. Uh, it's got macadamia nuts, all the good stuff, peanuts. So a snack on them, a very high calorie and very healthy. Good fats right there. We've got some wholemeal spaghetti. So we're gonna cook up some spaghetti tomorrow. In the next bag, starting off, I found this um, these clusters. So this is a walnut cluster. You guys should know, walnuts are very high calorie. Um, but the ingredients on this, it was like all raw sugar, uh, whole grain oats, oat flour, natural flavors. So picked up some of that, put into the Greek yogurt. I thought that would be pretty good. Better than just your average granola. We've got some frozen blueberries. Picked up two avocados. Here we have two sweet potatoes. Picked up a few bananas. Looking forward to snacking on these tomorrow. What these are, these are the Nushi sugar-free baking chop chips. I seen them and just had to get them. They're all got natural ingredients in it also. Um, so we're gonna be smashing some sugar-free chocolate chips tomorrow just for a little treat. And the last three things that I've got in this bag are some protein bars, sort of like protein bars. This is an oat slice bar. I love having these before, straight after I weigh in for competitions. Great carb source, good healthy organic bar. All of the ingredients in this are all organic. And then we've got two of these natural paleo bars. So one's a raw chalk mint bar, and then we've got a lamington bar, which I've never had before. I haven't had this one before, so that's gonna be good to try. That is all of our groceries. Good morning, guys. So it is a day of seeing how many calories I can consume throughout the day through all my natural foods, whole foods, etc., clean foods, whatever you'd like to call it. I just finished up a run this morning, got seven kilometers done. Just a nice, very easy run. My legs are absolutely smashed from my leg session yesterday. So I had to take it nice and cruisy, but we got that done and we're about to head off to training. But I thought I'd show you guys my first meal. What we've got here is some of this high protein Greek yogurt with some of these protein clusters. We've got half a scoop of vanilla whey in there um, and then also some raspberries. So this is going to be the first meal of the day and uh, we'll head off to training and then we'll get into some more substantial meals later on. So I'm not gonna film any of the footage from training just because I know this video is gonna be super long of just me eating, but I hope some of you guys enjoy that because it is one of my favorite things to do. So let's get into this very first meal and uh, I'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Give you guys a first bite. I just ended up putting some rice puffs in here also. They're just an whole grain cereal. First bite of today. Love me some Greek yogurt. Mm. You yeah, haven't tried those protein clusters? Gotta get around them. I think you can get them at any Carl's. First bite of many for today. I'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Bunch of rounds of sparring done halfway through training. Gonna have this lamington bar here. Um, just an intro workout meal. We're probably gonna have half of it because we're getting straight into pads, so. That is wicked. That is awesome. If you see those around, I get that. Damn, that's good. Woo. All right, guys, so we have just finished up training. A very good training session. Burnt a ton of calories this morning. Now it's time to go fuel up. So we're all heading to Something Tasty, which is a little cafe here in town. All the Warlocks teams handed down there, so I've decided to go join them and we're gonna go get some brekkie there. Got some really solid menus there. So I reckon the bet is gonna be some salmon and avocado on toast. That is what I'm going for, I reckon. Uh, maybe a little bit of egg. So we'll see what we get and I'll see you guys there.
absolutely awesome meal. As you guys seen, we had salmon, avocado, and egg on some whole grain toast. Beautiful way to start the morning, so breakfast is done, but it's actually coming up on 12 o'clock now. So I reckon we're gonna probably need another breakfast when we get home. I'm pretty good. So I'll catch you guys at the next meal. Second breakfast is underway. What we've got here is a cup of oats with some cacao powder. I've actually got the ingredients over here. So what we've got is some natural crunchy peanut butter. So we've got two teaspoons in here. We put some cacao powder in there. I put in my supplements, some just some creatine and some L-glutamine. And then we've got one scoop of chocolate natural whey. And that is going to be our meal. And we've got one banana chopped up in there. So I'm looking forward to this second breakfast. This is gonna be technically meal three of the day, but my second breakfast. So let's just add in with breakfast. Also, if you guys are wondering what supplements I do take in the morning, I always usually have a fish oil capsule um, and my men's alpha multivitamin, only one I've got left. So that is what I'll be supplementing with this meal also. So I have this now. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit a gym session. So we're gonna be putting these calories to use. And yeah, let's go enjoy this meal. If you guys are ever wondering what the consistency of my oats is, it's pretty thick. I like to add in cacao powder just to make it that little bit thicker. But this is how I love to have my oats. That was delicious. Bowl of oats, as you guys seen, is finished. Um, not too sure if I'll have anything before I go to the gym, because that is only an hour away. Um, but if I have anything, I'll keep you guys updated. It's been a total of about two seconds, and I decided to grab the other paleo bar that I picked up the other day. So the ingredients in this bad boy is coconut, dates, raw organic cacao, coconut oil, and organic peppermint oil. So let's give this one a try. It's gonna be a, I put it in the freezer, so it's gonna be a little bit hard. That is wicked. This is very similar to mint slices. Yeah, that was good. Mm. And I'll catch you guys next time we are shoving our face full of food. Put it on the gram. Intra workout. Wait, bro. All right, so this is technically lunch. What we've got is two pieces of linseed toast with some avocado and some salt and cracked pepper on there. I have that after I have my main meal. Just two tins of tuna, a bunch of mixed veg, and a bunch of rice. Um, also, I put my vegan barbecue sauce and mayo in here, and I'm gonna have one kiwi fruit. I know with that meal there, I probably could have made it a lot more calorie dense with different meats, but honestly, I just like tuna and that's what I was feeling. But I also did add an egg and black beans in there to up the calories a little bit. So I don't actually know what calories I'm sitting at at the moment. I'm gonna track it all after, really. I'm just trying to see uh, how much I can eat um, while staying relatively comfortable. So far, I feel like we've gotten a good amount of calories and I'm feeling absolutely fine at the moment. So hopefully I'm not speaking too soon. But yeah, this should be a good meal going down and uh, keen to get into this kiwi fruit because it's such a warm day. So let's enjoy this meal. I've been up for three nights. My eyes are bloodshot red. Damn, I want to see the sunshine. It's getting to my head. One look in the mirror, don't like what I find. I know that somewhere in there, there's a good guy. I'm sorry that I stole your car Ain't got those tattoos on my arms That don't mean shit to me Maybe you should pull the alarm So I don't take you way too far Die before I'm 23 I'm sorry, Mom I'm sorry, Mom Alright, so that meal went down pretty well I'm pretty full from it to be honest. There's definitely a lot of volume. One thing I've really been wanting to try all day are these Nushi sugar-free chocolate chips. So we're gonna crack into a couple of these and see what they taste like. My guess is they're probably just gonna taste like normal chocolate chips, but we'll see how it goes. Fuck, <laughs> no. Now that they're all picked up, let's give these a try. Got a decent handful there.
That's pretty good. They really taste like bacon chocolate chips, which they are. But they just taste really close to the normal ones. Oh. I'm sure this bag will be gone by the end of tonight. So, I'll calculate all the calories up and how much I do eat of it. I'll put it on the screen. Meal going down, we've got some more Greek yogurt. This time we've got the 0.5% fat Greek yogurt, Chobani, with a little bit of protein clusters. And then we've got this spice pear and walnut clusters, which I wanted to give a try. Some blueberries in there with half a scoop of whey protein. This is what it's coming out looking like. Such a warm day, so I'm very keen to get this down. Last bite. Clusters were actually really good. I wasn't too sure about it to start off with, but they're good. So it is coming up on eight o'clock now, and it's time to get into our dinner meal. What we've got is one big bowl of whole grain pasta, 200 to 250 grams of chicken breast in there, one egg with also some salt and pepper. Then I topped it off with a little bit of my vegan mayo sauce. So a little bit of a weird creation, but I think it's gonna go down all right. So this is going to be dinner for tonight. So Dinner is done. Probably gonna be a little bit of a break before having my next meal. I actually got halfway through that meal and I was like, hit a little bit of a wall, which lasted about two seconds and then I was like, back into it, so. That was really good. I didn't expect it to be that good, but I rated that. Do you guys have the next meal? Guys, so it is getting a little bit later now, coming up to nine o'clock, and I'm gonna be having this packet of munch. I'm just gonna snack on it while I watch a movie, just chill out for a little bit, so this is gonna be the next thing we have for today. Super easy to get down. Last one. That was way too easy to eat. Not gonna lie, kinda spiked my appetite a little bit. That is a bag. All finished, so. That took a matter of like two seconds. I don't know why, but today I've just been craving all the Greek yogurt. So this is gonna be my third serving of Greek yogurt for today. But as you guys see, we have put some chocolate whey protein powder in here. We've got some protein clusters those sugar-free chocolate chips, and then just a little bit of peanut butter to mix all of that around. Taste test. Craving something chocolatey. Can't get much better than that, to be honest. Delicious. Also, just added in a half a banana into the Greek yogurt also. Right, so this will probably be the last thing that goes down for the night. It is coming up to 10 o'clock now. It looks absolutely disgusting, but what it is, is four wheat bix with some chocolate whey protein powder and a little bit of almond milk. So that is gonna be the final meal for tonight. Cause I'm feeling pretty stuffed now. So we'll do a little bit of a recap in the morning and um, I'll catch you guys up and we'll go through all the calories and everything. So finish this off and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay guys, so it is the next day now since the calorie challenge and we ended up hitting way more calories than I actually thought. I was adding it all up last night and also during the editing of this video. Hit over 7,000 calories, it was 7,050 something. Can't remember the exact numbers right now but I'll make sure to put it right down here for you guys to see. So that is the amount of calories we hit. And honestly, for the way that I felt, I knew I was gonna be roughly around that sort of area, but I thought I was gonna be about a thousand calories under than what I was. Since I actually felt pretty comfortable, like throughout the whole day, I never got to the point where I felt sick or so bloated that I couldn't walk around. I felt pretty comfortable. And now looking back at it, I probably could have hit over 10K calories if I really tried and really tracked it. I could have added so many more of those clusters and more peanut butter, etc., into my meals, um, but I was definitely just a bit cautious with it and not overdoing it too much. So comfortably 7,000 calories of clean food was consumed yesterday. Benefits of eating clean food, as I've noticed compared to doing an actual 10,000 calorie challenge, like absolute junk food, is that you don't feel as bad in the morning. I woke up this morning, I felt fine. 
Um, I'm definitely a little bit watery in the stomach region, but I've noticed that my face hasn't puffed up as much as it usually would if I was eating junk food. My head doesn't feel really groggy at all. I feel completely fine, to be honest. I didn't have many crashes yesterday. I didn't have any periods that I remember of being really tired. Um, but compared to my 10,000 calorie challenge, there was ups and downs of me being having lots of energy and then me absolutely crashing towards the end of the day. But my energy seemed pretty sustained throughout the whole day yesterday. And my body didn't feel gross. I didn't feel bloated all day. So compared to a calorie challenge with junk food and having all that sugar, compared to eating with clean foods, it definitely makes a massive difference. And uh, if you guys want to see me try to attempt to hit 10K, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments and I can give it another crack and try to get 10K and actually track it properly. Yeah, that is going to be the video for today, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys are liking these challenges, make sure you guys let me know. Definitely got a huge appetite, obviously. I like the thought of doing food challenges with more healthy food. It just makes me feel a little bit better. I'm pulling all this stuff into my body, like added sugars and preservatives and everything. So I like keeping it as clean as possible, which is cool. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, make sure you guys drop them in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe and support the channel if you guys haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop it a like. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.